Hi, I'm Erin Angelini, and welcome to Circuit Breaker, the news roundup from IBM Research. First up, building the world's first large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computer. This is big news for the future of quantum computing. IBM unveiled its plans to build and deliver IBM Quantum Starlink to clients by 2029. Starling will be capable of running 100 million quantum operations on 200 logical qubits. This means it's projected to run 20,000 times more operations than today's quantum computers. This will make Starling exponentially more powerful than current quantum devices, and representing its computational state would require the memory of more than a quintillion of the world's most powerful supercomputers. That's a one with 48 zeros behind it. With Starling, industries will be able to fully explore the complexity of its quantum states, which are far beyond anything we can access today. These capabilities will position Starling to unlock a host of transformative applications in chemistry, material science, drug development, optimization, and more. So, what does fault tolerant mean? Just like classical computers, quantum computers need to be error corrected to run large workloads without failure. This is hard to do with qubits. They're extremely sensitive to noise, heat, and almost everything else. IBM has cracked the code on new error correction methods, quantum hardware, and systems engineering to lay out how Starling will correct errors in real time across a large architecture. This will enable Starling to deliver accurate results for tremendously complex problems, making it a true game changer for the future of computing. Next, topping the speech recognition charts. IBM recently open-sourced Granite Speech 3.38b, a powerful new speech model built for enterprise. Don't just take our word for it. The model ranks number one on Hugging Face's Open ASR leaderboard. It beat out models from the likes of OpenAI and Meta with higher understanding accuracy. The model was trained on many different types of speech, like phone calls and earnings reports, and the team added noise and cuts to mimic the reality of real-world conditions. While we're still not at levels that match human understanding, the team sees this as a big step towards speech recognition that matches our own. Perhaps soon when I ask a voice assistant to remind me to feed the cat, it won't later remind me to defeat a cat. And finally, new screening tools for harmful materials. PFAS chemicals, which we've covered here before, are in so many products these days. But what if there is a simpler way to see if you can replace them in your supply chain? That's where IBM Research's new Safer Materials Advisor comes in. It's an AI-powered tool designed to help users identify and replace harmful PFAS chemicals. The tool scans chemical documents, flags potential PFAS, assesses regulatory risk, and even suggests safer alternatives. It can speed up the review of thousands of chemical products for PFAS by more than four times while reducing the chance of errors. It's a big step forward in helping industries transition away from hazardous materials more efficiently and responsibly. For more on the latest innovations from IBM, make sure you subscribe to our newsletter, Future Forward. Till next time.